The next three meditations are devoted to awakening the heart to reality and to an understanding of the connections between everyone and everything. To live the spiritual life and the mystical life, what is essential is to keep the heart open to all beings at every moment. That is what God is doing and that is what we can do if we use the power and strength of meditation to help us. So that is the first initiation, and I've explained it in detail because I hope it will give you a flavor of the other three that our sacred activists will be invited to go through in our school. The second initiation will be into what we call the intelligence of the heart. The core of sacred activism is the awakened illumined heart, the awakened illumined heart center. And when that heart center is alive and awake and vibrant and fresh, it is absolutely committed to putting compassion into action on every level. But that intelligence, however divine and sublime its origin, needs practical tools. And so in the initiation of the heart, we're going to be concentrating on five different aspects of how the heart needs to work in reality now to transform the reality that is manifesting all around us. The first aspect will be gratitude practices that will help the heart keep open to the enormous blessing of being alive and to all the different powers that come to us through being alive. The second aspect that we will concentrate on will be shadow work because I deeply believe that unless we as sacred activists do shadow work both on our temptations as mystics to become addicts of transcendence and our temptations as activists to demonize others and to burn ourselves out Unless we do deep shadow work on ourselves, we won't be able to be clear enough instruments of the great force that is trying to get born through us. The third aspect of the work that we will do in the heart will be on forgiveness practice. Because as anybody knows who tries to do any real work in the real world, you will meet opposition, you will make enemies, people will do sometimes very dark and difficult things to you. And in order to keep on working with the kind of courage and compassion that you need, you will need real techniques of how to be able to constantly clear your heart of rage and despair and condemnation and judgment and to keep it alive in the great sacred fire of forgiveness. And I'm going to be drawing on my experience of Tibetan Buddhism and Christian mysticism to bring together the greatest practices of those to bear on these, like Tomlin and Metta, but I'm also going to be working with other people on their vision of how to put forgiveness into practice. This is essential for the work of sacred activism in the world. And the fourth aspect that we will be concentrating on will be dialogue. How to establish dialogue with people who have different opinions with you, and how to practice the great and sublime and very difficult art of profound, deep listening how to listen in such a way that the other person's point of view penetrates you not just mentally but emotionally and soulfully and in your heart so that through the union of your heart and theirs a new synthesis can be found, a new possibility of going forward can be engendered. Those are the aspects that we will be concentrating on in the initiation of the heart. The third initiation which is very, very important for everyone, I think, who really wants to take up the task of fusing these two fires now in the core of reality, is an initiation into the mind aspects of this crisis, the mental aspects of this crisis, and an intellectual initiation into just how this crisis is manifesting in the world and just how the antidotes to this crisis are manifesting. And in this initiation, we will have different, very extraordinary experts who will help us understand just how the environmental crisis, for example, is unfolding, just how the poverty crisis is unfolding, just how the corporate crisis, the crisis in the corporate structures and their really very difficult effects upon the world, just how that works. And we will have people who are really clear about the way in which the birth is taking place in so many different ways, in the growth of new technology, in the 
unbelievable exposure of millions of people to mystical truths and mystical technologies and the, in the growth of a philosophy of non-violence. So a complete overview in intellectual terms of the crisis and its, the birth that's taking place in it will be given in great detail in that initiation. And the main concentration in this particular initiation will be on what is called systems theory. I believe, like many other spiritual teachers now on the world, in the world, that unless you combine great spiritual force and great spiritual illumination and great spiritual intensity with a very clear view of how systems actually work in the real world, you won't be able to affect tremendous change, and tremendous change is needed. A purely mystical and spiritual approach to action will result in wonderful acts of charity and in real giving and in, in, a, in a transformation that reflects itself in a transformed way of being and acting with other people. But it will only be really effective if it has a radical, clear, no-nonsense and extremely grounded understanding of how real systems work in the real world. One of my dearest friends and someone whom I have the highest respect for is a woman called Monica Sharma and she works in the UN and she has one of the surest and finest grasps of how systems theory applies to the transformation of the planet and she will be helping us put together this part of the curriculum in such a way that anybody who enters the curriculum will be able to see exactly how we can start to act in spiritually effective ways within the existing institutions to try and transform them and radically integrate their current purpose with the birthing energies of what we devoutly hope will be a new world. That is the third initiation. The fourth initiation would concentrate on helping sacred activists build a sacred body. This sounds very pompous and pretentious, but actually it's very simple, and it goes like this. Without having a strong, clear body, without having a powerful body, without having a body that has been made supple by sacred practices to the divine energies, we simply won't be able to hold the kind of energies that we are going to need to do the work on this deteriorating planet. Fundamentally, the planet is going through a collapse of its immune system on every level. That is what the destruction of the ozone layer is. And as many people know, there are many diseases uh, flooding the world. And as many people also are experiencing, to be able to do this kind of very difficult work in the world, you need to have a constant supply of energy, of real, radical, gorgeous love energy. And so what this fourth initiation will do is help people really embody their spiritual passion in the depths of the cells. I've been working, as I said, on a new kind of yoga which I call On Fire, the heart yoga of celebration. And this yoga unites the ancient yoga asanas with a fundamental mystical philosophy of transformation and mystical visualizations. And I've had an extraordinary joy in doing this and with my friend Karuna Erickson, but the results also have been very amazing. We've found that people who do this yoga really do discover in themselves wholly new resources of energy. So that yoga will be the centerpiece of the initiation into the body, but also we will be dealing with all sorts of other physical disciplines, including the other work that I'm doing, which is with Gabrielle Roth, on uniting her extraordinary work in sacred dance with the mysticism, the ecstatic mysticism of Rumi. And Gabrielle and I believe profoundly that when these two are united and fused, what they will create is a very powerful crucible for people to experience through sacred dance the re-energizing of their whole selves. So you see this is a wonderful and ambitious program and we're going to be working for the first year on a curriculum and we're hoping that between 20 and 50 people will take the journey with us through these four initiations and help us fashion this curriculum, make it as exalted as possible and as practical as possible so that people can be as inspired as possible and also can be given in every single aspect of their selves the kind of tools that they're going to need to really become sacred activists on every level, 
to feel empowered and strengthened and inspired on every level and to be able to go out into this burning and tragic and menaced and endangered world with faith, with confidence and with real techniques that really work in the real world, really to transform real conditions. Thank you very much. Let us dedicate everything that we have felt, everything that we have understood, any moment of joy or real happiness that we've experienced, to the happiness of all sentient beings everywhere.